Hi and welcome to our Telehealth video information series. I'm Garvin and this video is on Neulasta. So Neulasta or Peg filgrastum is a colony stimulating factor, a man-made form of a protein that stimulates the growth of white blood cells and is used to decrease the incidence of infection by treating neutropenia or a lack of certain white blood cells caused by receiving cancer chemotherapy. So Neulasta is for reducing the duration of low white blood cell counts or neutropenia and risk of infection in people treated with chemotherapy for cancer. With the exception of chronic myelin leukemia and myodiaplastic syndromes. So how does it work? Neulasta injection contains the active ingredient peg filgrastum which is a type of a medicine called a recombinant human granulocyte colony stimulating factor, or GCSF for short. So GCSF is a substance produced naturally by the body that stimulates the bone marrow to produce white blood cells, known as neutrophils. Filgrastum is a man-made version of GCSF. Peg filgrastum is a pegulated form of filgrastum, which means it is attached to a substance called a polyethylene glycol. This increases the length of time that the filgrastum works for. So neutrophils, like all blood cells, are produced naturally by bone marrow. They play a central role in the body's immune system because they help defend the body from infections. A low level of neutrophils in the blood, or neutropenia, leaves a person very susceptible to life-threatening infections. Neutropenia can be caused by a number of factors, including cancer chemotherapy, which often kills normal healthy cells as well as blood cells, as well as the cancer cells. Filgrastum is used to stimulate the bone marrow to produce neutrophils and thus correct low neutrophil levels in the blood. This reduces the duration and severity of neutropenia caused by cancer or chemotherapy. As a result, filgrastum minimizes the need for antibiotic treatment, the risk of complications due to infections and length of time spent in hospitals. Neulasta is given once every cycle of chemotherapy. It is given as an injection under the skin or subcutaneously, approximately 24 hours after chemotherapy. <coughs> Neulasta should be stored in a fridge at 2 to 8 degrees when not in use. You will need to have regular blood tests to monitor the numbers of blood cells in your blood while you're receiving treatment with Neulasta. It's, Neulasta should be used in co with caution in acute myeloid leukemia, people who have had recently had pneumonia, sickle cell disease, and also Neulasta is not to be used if you have an allergy to filgrastum or E. coli derived proteins, chronic myeloid leukemia, myelodysplastic syndromes, secondary acute myeloid leukemia, breastfeeding. This medicine is not recommended for children and adolescents under 18 years of age. And this medicine should not be used if you're allergic to one or any of its ingredients. So tell your doctor, your consultant or pharmacist if you've previously experienced an allergy. So for pregnancy and breastfeeding, the safety of this medicine during pregnancy has not been established. It should not be used during pregnancy unless considered essential by a doctor. And for breastfeeding, there is no information available about the safety of this medicine during breastfeeding. For this reason, it should not be given to women who are breastfeeding. If this relates to you, for further advice, speak to your doctor. So the side effects of Neulasta, pain in the bones or muscles, chest pain, injection, sight pain, headache, enlargement of the spleen and nausea. Also, you can get allergic reactions such as anaphylaxis, blistering skin rash, difficulty breathing, swelling of the face, lips, throat and tongue, fluid on the lungs, pneumonia, a sudden inability to breathe, respiratory distress and decrease in the number of platelets in the blood, abnormally high numbers of white blood cells in the blood also. So the side effects I've just mentioned does not include all the side effects reported by the manufacturer for this medicine. For more you need to read the patient information leaflet or talk to your doctor or consultant for more on the side effects. How can this medicine affect other medicines? So this medicine should be administered approximately 24 hours after chemotherapy for cancer. If it is given before this, the chemotherapy medicine may also affect any new blood cells produced by the filgrastrum. 
that brings this telehealth video to an end. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments below or contact me through our website, mytelehealth.info or call into us at Lynch's Pharmacy, Douglas Cork. Or you can ring us 0214366923 to find out more. Thank you for watching. Stay healthy and stay informed.